So this is the gas and boat ramp. It's not a very big boat ramp. Plenty of places to park. It's not as big as the welding boat ramp. You can only put one boat in at a time. walk down here this is the shocking boat they count the fish by shocking them you don't have to float from this boat ramp all the way to welding you can put about any size boat in, come around this side of the, this little island here. And where I fish is the fifth pylon on the other side of the river. You can spend eight hours out here catching fish till your arm falls off. see how clear the water is there's a feet boats down here today but they're not fishing they're actually from dominion power and north carolina wildlife resources and let's take a walk underneath the bridge When I leave here, I'm going 10 miles downstream by car and show you the welding boat ramp. You can see the majority of it on this side is pretty shallow, but that's the paper mill. Right in front of the paper mill, it gets really shallow. You, you can't really take a big boat past the paper mill. That's my spot. But you can fish all here, all day, and catch rockfish, bass, brim. It's about 110 degrees out here today. So this is the tail race. The dam is upstream about an eighth of a mile. That's called a tail race. Need an outboard motor to go up there. And this is what they call the potholes. And I've got a video on the potholes where I caught uh, bass, uh, chain pickerel, we call them jack around here. It's not very deep. So let's go to get, uh, welding and uh, see what it looks like.
So we're at the welding boat ramp. See, it is nice parking lot. Nobody fishing. Probably cause it's a hundred degrees in the shade. Rockfish capital of the world. They redone this uh, boat ramp about 10 years ago. Used to be like one boat at a time. Now you can put in three, four boats at a time. So when you float down from Gaston, you can't really use the boat ramp this time of year because you'll flip. That's the falls. So you see the bridge in the foreground, that's usually where I take out my boat. I have come through the rapids before, um, and it's pretty hazardous. I flipped over. I think more times than I made it. Guy's got his dog swimming around. Know the dog's loving it. So if you want to fish the Runnock River with a bigger boat, with an outboard motor, you can put in right here anytime, even when the river's low like today and go downstream there are no rapids on a day like today there's very little current there are some monster fish down there you can float down just let the current drift you down or use the trolling motor and then use your outboard motor at the end of the day to come back upstream i've done that many a times the next boat ramp east of here is 30 miles there are a couple of uh boat ramps but they're privately owned and they won't let you use them so you need an outboard motor to float down and then at the end of the day when you're done fishing to use your outboard motor to come back upstream but it's deep it's slow and there's monster fish a lot of big bass uh after these rocks you see right here, there are no more rocks. I have spent all day putting my little boat in right here and just a trolling motor and fishing around this area right here and over on the other side of the bank. And you can spend the whole day right here fishing. If you want to bring live bait like minnows or crickets, you'll tear them up. I, I like the beetle spins and the spinner baits and the top water. Excellent ramp. I'll walk over to the falls. They're getting ready to open the river up to 15,000. I'll try and uh, I'll try and see if I can get that on film. 